So last week I went to London. And if you don't know London, London is a really good city for skateboarding. One of the main reasons of that is the tube because you can go from spot to spot, park to park, whatever you want. Uh, you only use that thing. Also for me coming from Amsterdam, the pavement was a blessing by itself already. Pavement in Amsterdam is small tiles, which isn't a good combination uh, with your skateboard. Uh, however, I'm definitely not saying London is perfect for skateboarding because I went during the winter and during the winter weather sucks even more than in Amsterdam. So me knowing that I was visiting London, I knew I wanted to skate at least this one spot I had heard about. And I was super lucky because this spot was just 10 minutes skating from it, uh, from the place I was staying. Some of you might already have an idea of what spot I'm talking about because this spot is pretty much history for skateboarding in London. I was heading to South Bank Skate Park, oh yeah. I always uh, like to look up some info about the park I'm gonna be skating, especially when I'm traveling because sometimes the spot is gone and you never know. But when looking up this spot there was just so much info about it. So when I looked up South Bank Skate Park on Google, a lot of stuff popped up and that didn't surprise me because uh, it's a historic skate spot after all. But uh, there was this one article that really stood out to me and it was from The Guardian, a newspaper in the UK. And it was titled, How Skaters Make Cities Safer. And uh, as a skater, I'm always psyched about anything positive hitting the news about skateboarding. I'm like, yeah. but. Uh, Apart from that, I thought there was a really cool article because uh, it also sounded really familiar to me. Because if we take a look at the, the description of the article, it says Skateboarders are the shock troops of gentrification, uh, you know, making an urban place better. And then uh, it says making no-go areas secure and then seeing their newly valuable sites destroyed when the developers move in. Can one much love London space buck the trend? And this sounded so familiar to me because uh, Amsterdam used to have an indoor park in North. They have a new one now, but uh, a couple of years ago uh, they had an indoor park as well. Uh, that place out there in, in the north of Amsterdam was a really kind of a sketchy, uh, kind of a sketchy place when the park started out there. And then the skate park came there, and the, the whole place really started to bloom, and the, really people started to go there because. Uh, because of the skate park really. So then the place got better, but then they removed the skate park and now it's a place with a hotel uh, somewhere up there and some bullshit art stuff. So that's why I thought this article was just super good because if you think about it, skaters do really make some places safer. Of course not the whole city, but I thought it was a that was a really cool way to look at a skate park. So then the article is about how two thirds of the site has already been destroyed even though it has already been around for about 40 years. So uh, the part that I was skating was only one third of what used to be there. I ended up skating with some local dudes and uh, talked a bit about the park with one of them. I came to uh, check out the spot because it's so legendary you know. It is, yeah. I've never skated in Amsterdam, I've only been to like, as a tourist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sick spot. That's a wicked spot. So sick. I think it was a skate like from abroad, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen so many videos about it. They're gonna extend it if we well once we raise enough money. Oh, Maybe cool. In the next year or two, if there's enough money, they're gonna oh, have like, so this sick. whole wall in the in the 1990s or whatever it used to be like it was going far down. They used to watch old videos, so they're gonna try and get the old one back and make it like the actual real legendary spot it was originally by 1970. This spot is. This spot's the most famous skate spot in, in history, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. When it's dark here, this place is bright, brightens up like the whole city. And when it gets dark, it's not too good now, but when it gets dark, like, you're, it's so good, holy shit. All right. Before, this place used to be dark. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't really be able to skate before? Not well, like, you know, you can't see what you're doing. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So by the stories from this local dude, you can tell that a lot has changed to this place. As the article said, skateboarders make no-go areas secure and you can definitely tell that that has happened to this place. Nice way to prove that to you guys is simply by the tourists. There are literally groups of tourists walking up to the fence, you know, they watch the skaters, take pictures. The area is also surrounded by chain restaurants and there's just a lot of sightseeing going on. 
By the article I learned that this wasn't always the case and it used to be cardboard city, so a lot of homeless people instead of the tourists. Point is that skaters made that area safe and they almost lost the place in 2014 because of a plan to transform the place into retail units. Luckily that didn't happen because of a campaign called uh, Long Live South Bank. And in contrary, uh, the local dude told me that they might even extend the place if they raise enough money. 790,000 pounds is needed though, so uh, that is quite a lot. So the place is what it is. I even skated during the evening when it got dark, you know, you got the nice lights. And uh, I got to experience that and I definitely enjoyed the underground nice skateboarding vibe going on over there. I skated on a piece of skateboarding history, so uh, I'm a happy guy. Skated on a piece of skateboarding history, happy guy. If you're ever out in London, definitely go check out the South Bank skate park spot because it's really super sick. And uh, also one of the local dudes I talked to, he uh, recognized my YouTube channel, so that was a really funny moment as well. Are you like big on YouTube? You're a vlogger? Uh, yeah, I talk about skateboarding mainly. BR. I think I've heard of you before. Oh yeah, you have? Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, nice. uh, Bruno. Brandon, nice to meet you. Brandon, all right, cool. Skateboard bra, as in B R U H. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, I have seen you before. I know that picture. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> so London was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the London video. Peace out and skate on.